Um, yeah, credit to the Wildcats. You know, they jumped us again at the start. It's two games in a row that they've come out and executed their stuff really well to get the shots that they wanted. Um, and, you know, we played catch up most of that first half and found a way to, to get back in front um, at the half. And con I thought we controlled the rebounding fairly well through that period, started to find um, some positive mismatches that we went at, and and we made a few shots. Um, you know, I thought the third quarter was all about us turning the ball over and making poor individual reads in our scout, and then it, it just kind of felt like in the fourth when we got close um, again. I thought we still made some bad reads in, in letting people get layups and and. Offensive rebounding was a probably the you know the biggest thing in that fourth quarter. They might have had eight, nine offensive rebounds, and um, you know a massive one that they pitched to Cotton after two offensive rebounds that kind of closed the game out. Um, you know we had a number that we wanted to keep them to in made threes, and and obviously we did a pretty good job of that, but containing the basketball and. You know, having Mitch Norton in a dunker spot where, you know, he was really effective tonight, but, yeah. Have you, um, did you just speak to the group, Dean and Valley, or is that, is that why you were allowed to get through? To come through? You mean before you came through to the presser? Did you have a chat to the group? No. Yeah, I you know, just, you were, you were saying that um, the turnovers were in the third quarter and then, um, can you just talk a bit about that last quarter? You kind of fell behind, I mean, I guess that top three kind of killed it a little bit, but then um, you tried to sort of play the free throw game and it sort of didn't pan out. Correct. Is there a question? I might jump in. Dally, what did you make of things out there tonight? Um... <clears throat> I think, you know, we we did a lot of good things, but there was, uh, yeah, we di we didn't um, finish enough plays. I think offensively, we we had some good looks and you know ones around the basket that um, we, we would usually make, um, and then you know allow us to set our defense. Um, in the second half, just felt like. Um, they got to the foul line a lot um, and we were playing, you know, slow and against their press, which we should have uh, attacked a bit more. Um, and, yeah, they they got to the foul line or, or hit some threes or got some O boards at uh, key points when we were making a run, getting close. And, um, yeah, we, we had some good open looks that we, we didn't knock down and you know they're, they're a good team um, so to to beat them you know we, we gotta uh, yeah take take the most of our opportunities. Did they do anything that surprised you? Obviously Mitch Norton ends up with a career high night point scoring. Did, it, did they do anything to him to make him more dangerous than perhaps it took a little while to, to get on top of? I mean, he's a good player. Uh, he had a good game against us um, last time. Um, you know, some unique. They put him in some unique positions. Uh, you know, in the dunker spot, he's really good cutter um, and good good penetrator, finisher, and um, yeah, uh, he, he did a good job getting the line nine nine for ten. So um, you know, we we got to be able to keep him in front um, as well. Short turnaround now to Sunday against the Phoenix. What what do you work on between now and then to to I guess be ready to go and, and turn things around, turn things back around? Yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, we'll we'll definitely watch the tape of this one tomorrow. Um, I think you know defending without fouling, um, boxing out. You know, the, there was uh, some key points in the game. Um, and then I think, you know, just continuing to, to get movement and, um, you know, just keep, 
keep getting easier looks uh, for guys, but um, you know, different different challenge and and different style of play, and uh, another tough team that um, you know is having a good season. So we've got to be ready to go. What are you hoping to see from your team differently on Sunday, Ben? Uh, mindset. I thought we had a poor practice leading into this game and I thought some people floated around like we'd done something um, and didn't take care of their own business and that's being as prepared as they can with their scouting, um, not just accepting what the coaches give them to go home, do their homework, know what's going to happen on the floor and do the extra that allows us to be, or has allowed us to be, the best offensive team in the league. But we weren't that tonight, and we didn't have people do their job um, that they needed to do defensively. So uh, hopefully it's a good kick in the arse. And I, I hate we're trying to prepare this team not to have to get a kick in the arse like this to, to be better. Um, but, yeah, people who play more will be the guys that understand what we're trying to achieve and... Um, what the information that we give and the information that they learn, uh, they put out onto the floor. You know, one of the challenges tonight was Ariel was so good. You know, how do we actually get him to, you know, to play more when we've got him and Joe? So, um, you know, that's one of my coaching challenges to is to you know f find extra minutes for him because he's he's been amazing for these last few games. Um, and then, yeah, you know, just getting our, our guard rotation a little bit better and you know, we needed more out of you know Caleb and, and Chris as a, in a scoring threat tonight. It's a good point you make because it's hard to play both Ariel and Joe together because Jack White's also playing playing well. Is there potential you could play them three together or does that make you... Yeah, there's always potential. Whitey's got to, you know, can play three or four so if we needed to shift him down and um, you know, we had good success playing Joe and, and Jock Landau together last year so... Um, Something that you know we obviously wanted to get Ariel comfortable in his in his role, and he's got really comfortable in that role, and he's shown that he can defend both four and five. So, if that's you know maybe it's a something extra that we can add to our group for the end of the year. Thanks, guys. Ben, you spoke before about your annoyance. Um, are you more annoyed at this loss than any other losses? I don't know about many losses this season. Are you more annoyed at this than any of the other ones because of what you said before? Yeah. Definitely. And there are a few uncontrollables late in the game, the, the goal team where Peeling's finger just touches the net. Like, are you able to then say to the, the group, the uncontrollables become less of an impact if you control the controllables through, during the week and throughout the rest of the game? Yep, keep answering your questions, yep.